were a couple of years when we first started out in 03 where it was a m massive uh, a challenge. It was a writing of the corporation. From there in 08, uh, we went to the service delivery review where we looked at all the business that the corporation was uh, providing and made some very large changes. Um, you remember the days when we looked at um, contracting out both mm -hmm. garbage, daycare, um, and uh, it, those were tough years. Well, and also some of those decisions, I mean, we look back on now that they did pay off. Oh, massively. Like when you were sold on them years ago. Massively. When you look at uh, the accumulated savings and the savings that will go forward from those decisions, although it was, um, it was uh, gut-wrenching to undertake them, um, I think it, it underscores um, uh, what we did. So about a hundred bucks per household is going to be what we're all going to get this year. In well, those blue letters that we well, get. Well, you know what? It's a little less because um, we started off, as you know, at 3.6 mm -hmm. percent, um, and in consultation uh, with the mayor, um, all of the councillors went in and paid a visit. Uh, we brought it down to two one. Now, 2-1 was still, I'm not going to lie to More you. More for the days that you used to have zero. <laughs> not going to lie. 2-1 was a little high for me. Um, and actually, myself and um, another couple councillors had a pathway to 1-9. But um, I think I scored two things, um, two pluses uh, from supporting the budget, which is, by the way, under the rate of inflation. Um, one of them was to revert back to zero-based budgeting next year, uh, which was my final motion after sure. we had approved the 2-1. So um, that's in place, and um, having the asset management plan identified as a separate line item, somewhat similar to the, uh, to the hospital levy, this is a provincial mandate for all municipalities, so that's going to be identified very clearly for uh, all